Well, good morning from beautiful northern Wyoming. It's December 1st, so we can now hawk our uh, duck springs, we call it. It's these uh, alfalfa fields with spring fed ditches running through them. Uh, Dave's coming, he's uh, got to leave to go to work, so we're going to let him fly first so he can get done and boogie out of here so he's not late for work. Right, he's pulling up right now, so we'll talk to him, make a quick plan, and have at it. Okay, well, we're gonna take a chance and drive up to a much better place to put the bird up. There's a, a small chance we might bust some ducks here on this part by the road. Probably not, but we decided it's worth the risk this morning. We'll see if that gamble pays off. Okay, nobody in that part, the bump. Hopefully there's some in the part we're gonna fly. We always just pretty much fly this on spec because it's really difficult to check. You can go out and listen for them, but that's about it. Checking them with the periscope is pretty tough. And walking out there through all the crunchy snow, you might bump some, so it's always a real gamble. Some deer running out there right past the part we're gonna hawk. Oh, there's some ducks just put in. Okay, well, we know there's some there. an eagle. There's always eagles here. She doesn't like flying when it's not fully light yet, does she? They're going. not going very high, but it can work here. And another one's putting in right under her nose. <coughs> She's not used to flying this early. Saw the second pigeon he tossed. She's too focused on the ducks. Plenty of ducks. And she comes in a strafing run. She acts a little fat.
she had opportunities. I mean, she had no height, but she wasn't really trying to grab him. She was an ounce over today. Uh, apparently too much. Some left in here. done at this spot. We got more spots we can go to. here because we're you know there's at least one duck left probably several and there's another part I can fly Clyde at Risk 13 degrees, it's always cold here when we're hawking it. She's never landed in a tree before. And she's just checking things out. Yeah. She's going 
Oh, nope, nice. Let's get over here. some more. She doesn't know what we're doing here yet. She's never flown this spot before. Might be a little heavy too. I considered saving some of these for Clyde, but I didn't figure they'd hold. And we got the other part, so. Now, she might need to be dropped a little bit too. She wasn't real focused though, or trying real hard it looked like. Well, Lewis. Definitely plenty of ducks in there. <laughs> That's the way this usually runs here. That's why we love it so much. But um, we'll go over this other part and put Clyde up there and hope there's some there. There should be. for her to go. He spotted something. 
I mean, he's never seen that eagle. There's always lots of bald eagles flying around here. Luckily, knock on wood, they never cause any trouble. We give that one a minute to leave before getting after too much flushing. Okay, well, let the dogs out. We'll have that. Fungo, 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 fungo. And there goes some ducks. And there goes Clyde. Oh, he missed it. Had a foot on it. Comes Clyde back. Oh, you stupid. He mistimed that one. He's off his game. He's coming back hard. That's my height. Let's see if we can get some more up. Oh, he sees something down there. Oh, yep. Get him up. Get him up! Get him! Get him! That one might be out. Come on, this way. Good boy, come kennel. I'll throw. Kennel up. Okay, well, you can probably see why we really like this spot. Tons and tons of ducks in here every morning. So we'll be hitting this a lot over the next month of the end of duck season. Bonnie Dave's bird, she's a, a female deer peregrine, by the way. Didn't catch up watching her fly. Um, was a little heavy, she's about an ounce heavier. He thought, she, she's usually once she's in the routine of catching ducks here, we'll catch them quite heavy. But first day, and didn't hunt them at all last year. That was since of avian influenza. We didn't hawk here at all last year. It kind of sucked up because it's such a great slips, but we don't want to take the chance. So the, the birds that are used to flying here, a little bit rusty about the spot. You know, I haven't been here in two years, so 
but she was definitely a little heavy and acted it. Cosmo, I think, was heavy as well. Same way I've been flying her out, uh, mostly tossing pigeons recently, and she's been doing those real well. But, you know, ducks, she's not real well lintered on them. She's had some baggies. She hasn't caught a one on her own yet that's not a baggie. And um, it's a new spot. She's never flown here before. So she'll need to be a little bit lighter. Might not hurt to, to do another bag duck with her here. So we might make that happen. And Clyde, um, I would have been better off not to have used the dogs on his flight. Because I could have controlled the flushes and sp spaced them out a little bit more for... You know, when he was there, yeah, they were flushing just all the time. Even when he was chasing other ducks, they were wasting some. I like the dogs there if I don't know how many ducks are going to be there, because if there's only a couple, that's a lot of ditch to run to find the, the ducks. And the dogs are, you know, obviously a lot quicker than me, and you can get them flushed out quicker. So it works much better. But in hindsight today, I definitely would have been better off without them. And Clyde hasn't flown here in two years either, so I could tell he was still remembering it. He's very, toward the end, he was back in his old groove. Unfortunately, we ran out of ducks. So the next time we fly, I won't be able to tomorrow. I've got to work, but the day after, we'll fly here. I'm sure he'll fly quite well. So, and the ducks will be here as long as it's cold. If it warms up and other things open up, they'll, they'll move out of here, but usually in December, it doesn't do that. So we should be good to go up till the end of duck season. There's a little, like, five-day break in the middle there in December that we'll have to find some other stuff. But, we're going to be having a lot of fun here, hawking our ducks, as always. But anyway, um, I look forward to two days from now when I'm hawking here again. I'll record that and share it with you. As always, thanks for watching.